La, 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 la. Camera rolling. It is the 17th of May. Hi folks, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, yeah, I, uh, I was on a, a website recently and I was just looking at um, uh, something that was actually, I don't know if you can see that very clearly. Uh, it's like a, a flattish dish with sort of uh, uh, turned over edges, uh, sort of pentagonal, that, that particular one. It's actually in the ancient high technology artifacts in the Cairo Museum of Egypt. It's actually thousands of years old. Um, anyway, I just thought I would um, have a go at making. In fact, I did have a go at making one. And that gave me an idea, as, as these things do. So I, I did come up with one that I made. Uh, this one is pentagonal. Um, wasn't sure how much I really liked the pentagonal one, but uh, I thought I'd have a go at trying a hexagonal one. <laughs> so put that there. Let's just bring the camera over like that. Let's get some light on the subject. These, these I've got a couple of lumps of clay here. These are uh, 16 ounces a pound. So let's have a go. See what we can come up with. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't think I've ever made anything. Exactly like that. I've done similar kind of things, but well, this isn't going to be exactly like that, but sort of set me on a course of I like small little dishes. And so let's just have a go. So breaking in, remembering that these got to be trimmed and then I'm just pulling it out, sort of supporting it underneath on my, on my right hand there. The So it's fairly flat, but I don't want to go too flat because it'll flop. Because I've, you know, it's a bit narrow in the foot. Da, 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 da. Hey Tim, what's up? I've got this little coconut shell here, which I'm just going to use as a sort of rib. It's kind of compressing the, the surface. Something like that. I shall leather it. Oh yeah, by the way, while I think about it, I am I'm gonna have a I'm getting people interested, a few people interested anyway. I need a few more people interested. If anybody's interested in a leech treadle wheel. If that's something that interests you, please write to me. Simon Leach Potter at gmail.com. And we can talk about it. Um, yeah, so yeah the new the, the this is the first one, the pre prototype one. This is not a very particularly nice looking one but 
the, the, the new ones these days have got a stainless steel tray on the inside, aluminium wheel head, walnut capping along the top here, cherry box, maple wood frame. They are very, very tidy little pieces of equipment. Okay, just bringing the camera, I just want you to see this and to see it underneath there like that. You can see it's fairly undercut, you see. All right, now let's, let's, uh, just gonna bring the camera a little bit more. Try and bring it over the top like that. Because I've got to now, I, I want to, um, I hope I won't knock the tripod there. So, yeah, so I'm thinking, is it, did I get it flat enough? Remember, anything that you make that is flat, as it dries, it, it, it lifts, you see? I think it's okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna take my throwing stick. You can use any piece of flat wood. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go like that to start, and then I'm gonna come here right opposite, you see. So we've got like that and like that. Now I'm gonna turn it 90 degrees, and I'm gonna do that one, and I'm gonna do that one, like that. Dee, 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 dee. What I should have done, and what I will do is, because I know somebody out there will say, how wide is it, Simon, did you throw it? Well, I threw it, uh, it's about six and three quarter inches wide across there. Okay. Now I could just leave it like that. I mean, that in itself, let's just whip the camera off here so I can show you in the mirror. Over there, you see, in the mirror. That could be quite nice in a way. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to carry through what I originally... Yeah. So... Okay, so you do the two first and then you turn it 90 degrees you do the next two okay so then you have to turn it 45 degrees like that and take these ones and go like that and like that that okay so the clay after you have made it go you've made it go out of shape like we've done it um, it, it has a sort of memory it wants to go back to where it was before so what we're going to do next is I'm going to get my my blowtorch out here. Now some of you out there, no doubt, you're going, the thought is going through your head. Oh my gosh, using a blowtorch. Can't I use a hairdryer? Well, yes, you could use a hairdryer. Or you could use a, a, a heat gun. 
the only thing being, you, it's going to take you longer, that's all. The blowtorch is by far the fastest method of drying clay in this manner. Followed by the heat gun and lastly by the hairdryer. The hairdryer is going to take you quite a lot longer. So you can, you can choose your tool uh, if time is of importance to you then I would use a blowtorch like we just did and um, just be aware if you are using a blowtorch that the flame can melt other plastics around and probably most of you as you were probably working on electric wheels you probably got plastic uh, slops trays and you can melt them and you might have a plastic bat I'm not using a plastic bat I'm throwing directly on the, uh, the wheel head so that's not a problem but for those of you who are using a plastic bat definitely be careful I've melted um, uh, plastic bats before made them sort of rough okay so you just keep doing this Don't forget when you when you play the flame across, don't leave it stationary. Keep the thing on the move. Okay, otherwise you'll overcook it in one area. And then so what we're effectively doing is we're stiffening it up, you see. Dee 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 dee. Yeah. Begins to bit look a bit like a nut and bolt, doesn't it? So you can, depending on how well defined you want the corners, you can play the flame on it again and get you know get the corners sharper, more pronounced. I like them a little bit pronounced, I think. Just make sure the, f the, f the sides are parallel, one with the one over there opposite, you see. Yeah, you can experiment like this, you see. It's fun. This comes under, I suppose, uh, we're not actually faceting, although we are producing facets, but we're altering, aren't we? We're altering by, by deforming. Yeah. Aren't we having fun? Yep. Yeah. Yep, we are. So as each time you use the, the torch, it, it becomes... The clay it loses its desire to go back to being round and it, it stays put as you want it, you see. Yeah. So... 
think I'm probably going to call it a day at that. That's how you do it. Okay, let's take a leather. Just hold the leather like that. And then let the wheel go around and just let it. It's difficult to leather it in, in the normal way with it being out of, out of shape like that, you see. Okay. That. Okay, we'll just stick it underneath there just to, well, we're going to trim these. Uh, later. Just going to bring the ca uh, camera down just so you can have a look. La, la, la. Let's move that tripod. We'll trip over it for sure. Just trying to show you over there in the mirror as well kind of sideways angle on it okay there it is I did an, another one actually just a bit earlier now if it has a very slight bow here in the side I don't mind that it's less severe than if it's absolutely straight like a nut and bolt. Just a very slight bow on the edge, I think is. So that's what it looks like. That's going to be, I can turn that upside down actually now. And that will be ready for trimming actually quite soon. So yeah, it will, put a foot on it you see something like that so there you have a it's a little bit of a smaller one a hexagonal one and a pentagonal one okay well it's a bit of fun isn't it it's a bit of fun yeah be be creative come up with some ideas if you get inspired you know see something like that I mean uh, these days if I see something I think oh I like the idea of that or I like that I'll, I grab a photograph of it and then I can look at it look at it later you know and um, Look at it later and then take a lump of clay and bang, flesh it out, you know, on the wheel. I, I didn't throw that on a bat, but, but as I've used the torch on it, it's stiffened it up now quite a lot, you see. So I can just pick that up now. And actually what I'll do is put it on a, I'll put it on a bat. Put him out in the sun. Okay. There you are, just making a small little decorative uh, trimmed footed hexagonal dish. <laughs> yes, yes. Go to my website, simonleachpottery.com. If you want to come on a workshop, write to me. And I've got spaces in the coming months. Just write to me with a date that interests you and I'll write back to you. Okay, thanks a lot. Keep practicing. I'll see you around town. Bye bye.